Hello everyone and welcome to another time trial video here in Gran Turismo where Catalonia, the GP circuit, so we do have the horrible chicane and we're in a Ferrari 458 there. But you don't have to use that Ferrari, as you can see, it's any Group 3 car of your choice. Racing tyres, oh sorry, tyres are racing medium should I say. Gold difficulty I put at medium. Yes, some cars are going to be a bit oversteer, but this Ferrari drives really nice. And the gold estimate, I've put it around a 146.6. I think only another half second could come off that time, really. I did actually put quite a bit of effort into this one. And, uh, yeah, I can't see huge much more time. Do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. It does help the channel grow, and I appreciate all the support. And, obviously, it helps everyone else who's playing Gran Turismo as well. Hopefully, get the gold time. Let me tell you how to do that then as we go straight into the lap here. Promise is an hour there, miles per hour there. Choose your speed or your measurement there and you can fire away on this lap. So as we come towards turn one, you got the lights on the left hand side, which you can use. But I actually use the building on the right hand side there. OK, I'm actually using the end of the building in this Ferrari. Uh, essentially, it's always there. It's very obvious brake mark. And I use it in every single game I play. Coming into here then, I stay in third gear. I find the Ferrari a bit more stable. Other cars, you will go to second and then third gear for the second part of the chicane. Now as you come into here, it's all about bouncing the car. So I just use the throttle here, coming on and off the throttle just to make sure the car sticks on a nice tight line. When I see that orange painted barrier up ahead there, that is my accelerating marker when that hits the center of the screen. As long as I'm taking a nice line, the car's not understeering, that is a perfect accelerating marker, and I highly recommend you use that. As you see, I've used it here. I accelerate out the corner. Happy days. Jobs are good. Em. Right, heading towards this next corner. I'm actually going to highlight three points on this bridge, okay? So you can use the left-hand side, obviously, as that hits the edge of your screen, or the right-hand side as it hits the edge of your screen. Or you can try and judge it by the center of the gantry. Any one of these three does work out very nicely. Now, I just use the center of the gantry mainly, just as it gets towards the top of the screen, and I go on the brakes. Now, what I'd recommend here is a tie to line as this corner starts to open up quite quickly and what you're looking for there is another orange painted barrier that is your accelerating marker on this corner and this is the second you see it you want to start accelerating okay because that's also when the corner is going to open up a little bit for you and allow you to just get around the corner slowly go on the throttle of course because you will get a lot of oversteer here lots of cars do get lots of oversteer there power oversteer so do be careful and now towards this left-hander then, on the right-hand side, the toilets we use for turn one, they are toilets up there, we're going to use for this corner here on the left-hander. Okay, so I use to start the building for this corner. As I go into here, start the building, hits my edge of my screen, I'm then going to hit the brakes, okay, as I go into here. I'm looking to slow the car down. I don't go for a tight line here, go for a later apex there. Just a bit of a, a point and squirt sort of recommendation there, because otherwise you're going to get oversteer on exit because you're in second gear, and lots of cars do struggle in that second gear. This corner then at the left-hander is the start of the curb there that you can see I've highlighted here. Make sure you don't go too close to the start of the curb. You will touch the grass and go off. I did that once in my laps that I did. Um, so just be careful about doing that. And for this corner, sometimes you'll go to second gear, sometimes you won't. I always short shift to third to try and avoid that power oversteer and make sure you don't cut that corner too much. And up the hill there now, we've got the end of the curb here on the left-hand side. Now, for some cars, you are just going to lift and turn in. For some cars, if you're really pushing on as well, you might want to dab the brake as you then go to turn in. It's all about slowing the car down and making sure you hit the inside curb. Okay, that is the critical part of this. So, I brake a little bit there. I clip the inside of the curb. And the second I hit the inside of the curb there, I then accelerate because it drags you around a little bit. Cause a little bit of, like, oversteer, but nice oversteer so you don't have to catch it. Let it do that oversteer and you should be fine in terms of acceleration. Now, just be careful about running too wide there because it will give you a penalty. Head towards this sharp left-hander then. On the right side, you have the flag indicator there without the flag indicator on it. Uh, it's a little pole there, and that's what I use in terms of a brake marker. Okay, so as I come into here, going to hammer on the anchors here. Go for a wider line in. Again, it's a point and squirt sort of idea here. Once you're getting straight up there, accelerate out as fast as you can over here, and then straight line the braking into this right-hander. It's a slow braking into there. So what we're looking for here is either the orange painted barrier or that sausage curb on the right-hand side. They're your accelerating markers for this corner. And you probably think, say, Tidge, that's a bit too early, isn't it? No, it's not. You start to bounce the car, it means it's stable on exit. So use either of those two markers as your accelerating marker and continue on through. As we exit then, we're going to continue towards this next corner. I don't really have any good brake markers for this. I use the tyre as it intersects the red and white kerb in there up ahead. But on the left-hand side, you do have the grandstand, so you may want to use any of those stairs there that break up the seating on the left-hand side. But as I say, I use the tyres as it intersects the red and white kerb in up ahead. Now, you're going to want to drop a gear here. You want to turn in. Try to abuse the sausage a little bit. It will chuck you around a little bit. 
and as you head towards the chicane, you can either use the gantry above you, but I actually use the right hand side of the gantry as that hits the edge of my screen. Basically, it's a slightly earlier brake marker and it's more consistent for me personally. So that is what I'm going to use here and what I would recommend you to use as well. So you can go hard on anchors and as you come into here, you can abuse the sausage a little bit on the left. Really abuse the one on the right there. It's lower, so you can actually put it in the center of your car and not hit it and then accelerate through. Click the curb there to really rotate you a bit more if you need to. Head towards the line and let's see what lap time we're going to get here. It is a 144.3. The gold time, sorry, the rank one time at the moment is in the 43.9s. I don't expect that to go more than half a second down, as I say. We're going to head towards turn one then. On the right side, I use that building there as a brake mark. I use all the track on the left as well as I come into here. Don't cut the, the first part of the chicane too much. Cut a little bit more at the second part there, but be careful of oversteer. As you come into it, bounce the car with the throttle here. Okay. And you see that orange painted barrier in the center of your screen, accelerate through the corner and head out wide here. Once again, I'm going to use all the circuit here as I head over towards the left-hand side, using the gantry here as my braking point here. I'm going to brake and I'm going to try and keep a tight line here until I see that orange painted barrier right there. Then I start accelerating out the corner as the corner opens up there. Head over towards the right side. The building on the right there is my brake marker for this corner. Point and squirt this car here. So get round, accelerate out very quickly and try and avoid some of that power oversteer. Heading towards the next corner then. On the right hand side, we've got to start the curb here. There it is. We're going to hit the brake. Stop to second gear. Short shift to third to avoid any power overs there. And accelerate through the corner nice and smoothly. Heading up here then. Once again, the end of the curb on the left hand side. We dab the brakes a little bit, turn in. We clip the curb. Then we accelerate as quick as we can. Okay, that is key there. You do need to clip that curb to really nail it around that corner. Be careful of running too wide, otherwise you get a penalty. The flag indicator there on the right is your next marker here. We slow it down nicely. Again, point and squirt. Accelerate out as quick as we can here once we are straightened up. Cut this curb here, straight line braking into this right hander. Keep this tight here. Look for the orange painted barrier or the sausage. Start accelerating when you hit those markers and continue on. Then, as the tie marks intersect the red and white curbing, I brake, I turn in, I clip the sausage here. Head over towards the right hand side. The right hand side of the gantry is my brake marker. I clip the sausage on the left. I use all the sausage on the right. And as we exit that corner, we accelerate towards the line then. And we're going to aim for that 144. Point three that I think I got. Let's have a look. Yes, it was. There we go. Happy days. And that is a gold time there for you. Hopefully this guide is helpful. I did try it in the BMW M6. I got a 144.6, I think it was. This car was slightly quicker and I saw constantly using it. So I was like, okay, let's go for it. Let's try it. And it was faster. I went for it. Did like it? Do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest content. I do appreciate all the support. Now, if you are struggling on the previous week's time trial guide, there is a guide right there for you. There's another video there if you would like to check it out. And once again, a big thank you for all the support. We're on our journey to 40k, and it's just amazing that we're even saying that number. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very soon.